It's very hard to argue with my girlfriend because she's uh, she's much more um, articulate. What'd you say? What's my sign? What's my sign? I don't believe in that shit. Okay, let me tell you. That. <laughs> Listen, if we were if we were outside and you said it, I'd be like, uh, I'm a Leo. But I, in public, I have to be honest. I fucking hate astrology. What do you think my sign is? Wait, hold on, wait. <laughs> what, what? What are you? What are you doing right now? What are you doing? Hold on, let me wait. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Are you a, like, you a Taurus? No! <laughs> yes again, I'll give you two more. You said Leo, the first one. You said Leo. <laughs> what is this, a council? <laughs> Obviously this is not a real thing. I'm Jewish, that's what I am. I'm Jewish. You would have known that on your first fucking guess. I had a roommate once, and, he, and he, 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 was, he was gay. I feel like gay men, they, they know how to judge my body the best, because you know, they, they, they're, you know they're, they're attracted to men, and they also have the, the absolute lack of empathy that only a man can possess. <laughs> and I asked him one day, I, I was prancing about, I said, I'm in good shape, right? And he was silent. <laughs> I went to my room, I cried for like two hours, but then I resolved from that day forward, I would wake up every morning. You laughed at the wrong part, and I'm very interested where. <laughs> my roommate looked at me, because, yeah. Oh wait, what has he asked you? It, it was literally the body. And I was like, <laughs> so how did he phrase it? Was he like, he was like, would you? <laughs> it was more like, oh, you know, what do you think? And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. He's going to hear that for the rest of his life. He's trying to go to bed right before he goes to sleep. He hears, mm -hmm. ah. are you, are you doing anything about it or? <laughs> Taking it one day at a time. One day at a time. <laughs> Sipping on that white claw. You're like, I switched from beers to white claws. I'll tell you that. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of food issues. My girlfriend, she has the, the cilantro allergy. And I didn't know until our third date, I took her to a Mexican restaurant and she was like, she didn't order anything. And I was like, I was like, well, are you okay? And she was like, I have the cilantro allergy. And I, and I, and I, I was like, you know, I wish you had told me I, I never would have dated you. <laughs> do you have it? I have many allergies. You have many allergies. What, what else are you allergic to? It's a list. Go for it. Gluten. 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 Dairy. Dairy. Tuna. 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 Mustard. Mustard. Tree nuts. Tree nuts. So, your life sucks. <laughs> Are you, sister, are you allergic to anything? Dairy and tree nuts. Don't have kids, guys. I think. <laughs> what kind of life is it without tree nuts? Does that just cover a gamut of nuts? Everything but peanuts. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that, like, even kids who are allergic to peanut, you're like, fucking loser. <laughs> Enjoy your almonds, bitch. <laughs> You're an OBGYN. You, are you allowed to say any, any weird stories? Any weird thing that's happened to you? One time, somebody put a candle in their vagina to make it smell nicer. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> what size candle are we talking here? Is this like a long dinner candle, like for a fancy night? Bed, bath, and beyond. Like this was a chode candle. <laughs> Did she at least keep the wick out? Wait, so like, yeah. okay, like a tampon. <laughs> Now, when she comes in, how is she walking in? I mean, can you tell by the way people are walking, you have a, you have a tough day ahead of you? What walks in like... <laughs> and you're like, Bed Bath & Beyond? No, this way. So she comes in, and when you see it, do you, are you like, are you like, you, you don't let on that you're like, oh my... Like the mask on. Before the mask, you'd be like, oh! <laughs> Incredible story. You should tell that at every dinner party you go to. <laughs> you think this candle's big? Let me tell you a story. You still listen to R. Kelly ever? My mom's favorite song, Ignition. <laughs> oh, Ignition. Oh yeah. You mean like to f to or? No, no, no. That's her like relaxing boat music. That's what she tells you. She's like, that's why the boat was rocking, sweetheart. I was in my rocking chair listening to R. Kelly's Ignition. Your dad was pissed on her. I'll tell you that right now. You're like, mom, why are you wet? I fell off the boat, sweetheart. Don't you worry about it. What do you, what do you, what do you think she's doing? A knitting needle to this song? I don't want to know. <laughs> what, what kind of, what kind of music do you listen to? Do you like to put on if you're, you know? Me? Yeah. Oh, R and B. R and B. So like mother, like daughter, I guess. <laughs> are you two dating? No. What, what are you to each other? Uh, friends. Friends. Ooh, yeah. Have you ever hooked up? <laughs> Have you two ever hooked up? No. no. You see how quick that was? Is it like, is it, is it, is it frequent? He lives a little far. Yeah, I live in the mountains, so I'm visiting. Yeah. Oh, 
How deep in the mountain? <laughs> You were very well dressed for a mountain man. She was done fucking you like, get dressed, we're going to a comedy show, and you're like, I have no clothes. <laughs> if he lived a little closer, would you be dating him? Maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Woo! No, that's not romantic at all. He's, 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 he's walking home like, okay, if I lived here, would you date me? What? Yeah, where are these mountains? <laughs> He's gonna fuck her next. She's like, she's like, I live close to the mountains. I don't mind a commute for some good day. Yeah, I live on a mountain, so I'm visiting. What are these mountains? Uh, it's a small town called Idlewild, and our mayor is a dog. <laughs> okay, I understand how in theory it's cute that the mayor is a dog. But do you understand how that's a sign of a country in decline? <laughs> do you vote for the dog? I do not. I move there after. You move there after. <laughs> you move there after. <laughs> did, did the dog pass any major legislation <laughs> while he was in office? Well, like, are there any Biden can do? So. Whoa! Oh. I think the dog would like Biden. <laughs> you know, he's, he's real close to getting to all of his bones. <laughs> how, how did this happen? You're gonna feel bad because the dog passed away. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> to put it in dog terms, I don't feel bad one lick. If you told me that the mayor of New York City was a dog, I'd put it down myself. You I'm an EMT. You're an EMT? Like, so you can do CPR? And how did you two meet? Was it, did he give you CPR? That would be very romantic. <laughs> Which, our, our first date, there's a car accident right next to us. So and you were, you were like, yes! And she's like, oh my god, what? Why are you smiling right now? You're like, you're like, because I'm going to kiss two people tonight. <laughs> Have you ever seen him in action? Someone collapsed on our plane once, coming <gasps> home from um, New York. And what did he do? He ran out. <laughs> I couldn't see, I was all the way in the back of the plane. You might have seen this shit before. <laughs> oh God, I told you to leave work at home, sweetheart. We're on vacation! Here's the thing, I am my girlfriend's first like major relationship. She is my second. Oh. So sometimes she'll say stuff to me, yeah. <laughs> You're on the ride with me, I hear you. Uh, oh. Yes, that's the feeling I'd like. Come to all my shows, Here, you let everyone know what to feel. All these stuck up white people over here, they're like, oh, we're supposed to feel aww, and then, oh, thank you, I haven't felt anything in 10 years, I'm the worst audience member in the world. <laughs> no offense. Uh, are you in therapy? Not anymore. Not anymore? Did you graduate, or was it a bad ending? We were different. <laughs> No judgment here. I, I, I think therapists and their patients should be the exact same. Uh, it, should, it should be like a dog and their owner. You just kind of, which one is which? What does that mean though? Give me, give me a little more details. I feel like to be vulnerable with your therapist, uh -huh. you have to feel like a, a common link with them. Sure. And we just didn't have that. Did you? I was like trying to like calm things down for him. So you, you you were the therapist. <laughs> Sounds like you had more in common than you actually thought. <laughs> Did he fight back? Was he was he like he was like no don't go or was he like you're right? He told me I should be a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really bad sign. If a doctor is cutting you open for heart surgery, like you know what you should be doing this right now. 